Hamza Dahdouh, son of Al Jazeera's Wa'il Dahdouh, has been killed by Israeli forces. Doctors without borders, medics are forced to evacuate Al Aqsa Hospital in Gaza. And finally, Israeli forces are digging up cemetery graves in Gaza. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Hamza Dahdouh, son of Al Jazeera's Gaza bureau chief Wa'il Dahdouh, was killed by an Israeli airstrike on Sunday. Hamza was traveling with a colleague when an Israeli missile directly hit the car they were in. In October, the hero. Wa'il lost his wife, daughter, another son, and a grandson after a relative's home they were sheltering in was bombed. Now, Doctors Without Borders have announced that their staff and families in Gaza have been forced to evacuate Al Aqsa Hospital and its surrounding neighborhoods. This comes following days of heavy attacks and Israeli forces issuing orders to leave the area. However, the situation remains dire as patients and displaced Palestinians remain in the hospital with some unable to move and others with nowhere else to go. And finally, Gaza's government media office has announced that Israeli forces had stolen 150 bodies from graves in the Al Tufa cemetery in the east of the besieged strip. The bodies were taken to an unknown location, raising suspicions that organs were being stolen from deceased Palestinians. Israel has been called out multiple times for digging up graves since the start of their three-month aggression on Gaza. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.